What are the YouTube man? Welcome back to the channel, you guys. So today in this video, you guys, man, I'm gonna be reading these hate comments on this V6 to a V8 conversion. Now, some of the comments to me, it, 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 people think it makes me mad, but it doesn't. Um, you're not a car guy. I don't care what you say. Um, when I read you guys these comments, you're just gonna be like, what, what the world? Like, why people gotta be so ignorant? Like, it's 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 really just blows my mind to be honest with you, and um. You know, when you're building a car, it's more fun when you build a car because you can actually look at that and say, yeah, I did that. You know what I'm saying? Now, a lot of people don't realize is with these charges, yeah, of course, it's still going to be registered as a V6 because that's what it's typed in the computer. But the shell, you're just paying, like, go on a Dodge website, go buy a shell, and you tell me, does that shell look any different from anything else? Okay, you get what I'm saying, you guys? You can go buy a shell from Dodge. Okay, you can you you can do buy so many parts from Dodge. It is it's 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 crazy. Okay, now when you saying that it's still gonna be a V6 even though it has a 6.4 liter in it, you're just a dummy. Like that's just that's just you're just a dummy. Like that doesn't make sense. It's fun when you build cars. Now, if you ever own an RC car, I'm just telling you guys before I read these comments. If you ever own an RC car. You do know that that's an expensive hobby, especially like the Traxxas E Revos and all those kind of RC cars because they break. You got to fix them and fix them. Okay, you guys. But anyways, um, if you are new to the channel, man, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button, man. Make sure you guys stay tuned. Post. Make sure, <laughs> make sure you guys stay tuned for this Dodge Charger build. Now, let's get into these comments. Now, the first one, as you can guys see right here, the guy said, this just isn't practical. If it was people, would be doing a lot. Good luck, I guess. Now, you're saying it would be practical. Now, I want you to understand what you're saying because you're saying that you can't make a scat pack a thousand horsepower. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. If you, let me just break some of this stuff down to you guys. Buy a 6.4 liter engine, okay? Forge out the internals, upgrade the piston rings, upgrade the rods, upgrade the, you know, the cam, you know, the crankshaft and stuff like that. And don't forget the lifters, okay? Upgrade the lifters. You can get Hellcat lifters, Demon lifters, your choice. Then don't forget the fuel injectors. You want to upgrade to the Hellcat injectors or the Demon injectors. And also don't forget the fuel pump. You can do the Hellcat fuel pump or the Demon fuel pump because it's going to be pumping a lot more gas. To get that horsepower, it's going to require more demand on gas. Okay? Now, can't forget the blower. Choose a good blower. You can get a Whipple Pro Charger. You can put a Hellcat blower. You can put a Demon blower. You can put a Red Eye blower. You can put you can put a blower, any any blower in the car. Not, no, I'm not going to say any blower. Man, get, get a good one. Okay? Now... The fact of, I'm buying the engine brand new. So, what I'm going to do, once I forge out the internals, I'm going to basically hook back, basically put everything back together, and I'm going to drive the car for about 1,500 miles on that engine because I don't want to throw a blower on top of a brand new engine. You want to break in that engine first. You get what I'm saying, you guys, in that transmission. You get what I'm saying? Because you don't want to throw a brand new blower on a brand new engine and blow it. It's just, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't, it doesn't make sense logically. Next question. Well, next comment, I should say. I've been building it for ground up. Two hours later, all the parts, all the stolen parts have arrived. I don't know what you're saying, but we're just going to swipe to the next comment. Now, this one person said the VIN will always designate in a V6, no matter what you do, wreck it and you're screwed. It will never be properly insured. Now, I want a lot of people to understand. If you own something, you saying if I wreck it, okay, you guys, you're just throwing, you're just feeding negativity. You're just trying to find negativity. You get what I'm saying? Because you don't have a dream and you're not accomplishing those dreams. So you know what I'm going to say? Good luck to you. Because at the end of the day, you're probably miserable behind this computer, behind your phone, whatever, writing hate comments on somebody who's actually trying to pursue something for themselves. But you know what? It is what it is. Because at the end of the day, now guess what? If somebody was to hit that car, okay, it will be insured. 
And it's not just going to give you a check for just the damages. It's going to give you a check for pain and suffering. God forbid. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, it just doesn't work like that. Anything that you do. So you try to tell me, oh, you know what? Let me just go buy a scat pack and, and I'm just going to throw a wrap on there. That wrap ain't going to be covered. This wraps that go for like five, six, ten thousand dollars. That wrap ain't gonna be covered, and that's the worst thing because that wrap is gone. It's damaged. It's, it's it's just it's adios. You get what I'm saying? That does not matter. Now, if somebody was to hit your Brembos, you know what I'm saying? Or let me see. If you said, let's say, let's say you 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 added a um, uh, let's see, you added some things into your car and exhaust. You know what I'm saying? And now your exhaust is damaged from a wreck. Or, you know, your your suspension is damaged from a wreck. After, it, that's not going to be covered, bro. It's not going to be covered. You get what I'm saying? It's not going to be covered because if you think to yourself right now, if you go spend three, four, five grand on a wrap, that wrap is not going to be covered. You get what I'm saying, you guys? I want you to understand that right now, that wrap is not going to be covered. Okay? Okay. Now let's go to the next hate comment. Um, I mean, it's cool and all, but at the end of the day, at the end of the, I mean, I'm pretty sure he meant to say day, you just lying to yourself. After all said and done, it's still a V6. Me personally, I would just wait to get me a scat or a cat. You appreciate more and sleep good at night, Harlem. What? What? You don't even make sense. You don't make sense, bro. You will sleep good at night? Where you live at? Everybody knows Hellcats and all those stuff are obviously target cars. But I'm not saying that the car's not going to be a target when I'm done building it. But do you hear yourself? You, you, you hear what you said? I got to save my money and go get me a scat pack. If you got to save your money, you can't afford it. Next question. Now, this is what I'm going to say. Let me take that back. Let's, let's rewind back. I'm not going to say you can't afford it. But if you're trying to tell me, you know what, Trayvon, just save your money. Go buy you a scat pack that's marked over MSRP and have them screw you in the ass. Pretty much. That's what you're telling me. No, I'm sorry. I'm not going to do it. Now, if there was the prices that they were, but no bank is going to get more money out of me than what the car is actually worth. Because to me, Dodge does not have enough features for me to be paying that kind of money for these scat packs. I'm just sorry. Like, you can go buy you a X6 or X5 BMW for 100 grand and you got all these features. You get what I'm saying, you guys? So don't get it twisted. Let's go to the next hate comment. Trash, just get a scat pack. You get upgraded brakes and better suspension. Do you know how easy it is to upgrade your suspension? Do you know how easy it is to upgrade your brakes? <sighs> I'm starting to really feel like you guys don't understand cars. And this is why mechanics charge you guys an arm and a leg. This is why they butt rape you because you guys don't know nothing about cars. You get what I'm saying? You take your scat pack in and get brakes changed. You're paying like two grand because you don't know how to change brakes. I don't care. I'm not letting nobody work on my car or touch my car. You get what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, I know what's been done to it. I know it's been done properly. People are not going to dedicate. People are not going to cater to your car like you do. They're not going to care for your car like you do because they have so many cars coming in. Why would they care about yours? Next question. Drifting with those cheap plastic American cars. If you don't have money for a BMW, please just don't do it. It's so cheap. It's so cheap. You didn't realize BMWs are luxury cars, right? I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, that's like telling a person to go drift in a Lamborghini. You do know uh, BMWs are luxury vehicles. They're not, yeah, they're fast, but they're not really meant for drifting. I would say, it depends on what kind of BMW you have. But if you're telling me that cheap plastic American cars, what kind of plastic you think BMWs are made out of? Titanium plastic? Gold plastic? Top of the moot plastic, nigga. All these cars are plastic. All of them. All of them. What is you saying, bro? All these cars is plastic. They not antiques like these 
old school muscle cars where they're damn near a freaking tank. They're all plastic, fam. All of them. All of them. That's all the hate comments, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, bro. All these cars are made out of plastic, fam. What do you think BMWs are made out of? What do you think they're made from? You think they're imported here? Huh? You think they're imported here? No, fool. They're not. They're not imported here. I don't care what you say. Mexico makes American car parts. America doesn't even have a freaking source. Like, do you not know everything that y'all have is pretty much made in China? Mm hmm. Even foreign cars. Well, I'm not going to say foreign. Some certain cars are made here. There's plants where they make them here. Hondas are Japanese vehicles, but they're made in America. You think they just, they think they're just shipping all these damn Hondas? You think that, come on, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, let, let. No, no, they're not doing that, fool. Like, damn, it's a car. It's a freaking car. It is a material. You, as a, as a kid, you probably worked on a little, if you probably didn't work on toy cars, then you probably don't know nothing about cars. Okay, this is for my car, people. Peace up, A-Town, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, let's get back into the, what I was saying. Now, if you was a kid working on cars, then you know about cars. These cars are just bigger. They got bigger motors in it. They're not little toys where you, you no, know, you don't do all that. You get what I'm saying, you guys? They're cars, bruh. It's all materials, man. It's what makes you happy. It's what makes you fun. Why you gotta knock somebody else's happiness? Why you gotta knock somebody else's dream? That's a problem with America now. Y'all so busy hating, worrying about what the next person is doing, this, you know, discouraging, and you got all these bad influences on YouTube and stuff like that because they're not keeping it real with you guys. I don't care, man. I'm gonna keep it real. I don't care who don't like me. You know, I'm not in this world for people to like me. I'm gonna give positivity to the people who do appreciate it. But that's gonna be it for this video, man. I'm not gonna let y'all waste none of my time. This is for the people that hating, that hate comments. This is for y'all. Mwah, I love y'all, man. Keep your head up. I right? remember one day you will have a vision in your head. You hear me? I'm gonna see you guys in the next one. Peace.